Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time to take a look at another champion build video. Today I am playing as Elise in the jungle. Uh, tried her out in a lot of different areas, really, because uh, there's lots of different ways you can kind of play this champion. I've seen tanky bruisers, I've seen bruisers, I've seen AP casters, and I've seen a lot, just lots of stuff really with her. So, um, I've played her many different ways. I've played her bruiser, I've played her hybrid, I've played her AP caster mid, which was fun and I did like it. But, uh, for the most part, I think I do like jungling her a little bit because of her kit and what it has. Um, I usually start at blue buff and I'll start with cloth armor and pots to be safe since she typically is not, you know, She's not going to be the tankiest because she's not really meant specifically for this role, but she does work out at doing it just fine. So uh, that's where I like to start with her, and that's what I like to take at uh, the beginning of the match. I've already moved through a handful of my pots. Uh, I was in paying attention a little bit and uh, fell a little bit off with my pots early. So uh, typically they'll last you a little bit longer. But uh, early on, it is a little bit of a tough jungle. I'm going to go back to base now and pick up boots and a couple more pots and continue on so I can have some more uh, speed when I need to gank. But uh, as for the very first thing I take at level 1, I usually take her W ability, which in her human form is her spiderling. And then at uh, her spider form, it is her frenzy, which gives you the increased attack speed and uh, it's going to heal you too when your spiders attack a little bit, which is nice here. Um, Hoyt came up with me as Fiora. Uh, that's what he's playing. He came up from mid. There's going to be a little bit of a fight up here. I jumped up into my repel and came down then. Um, tried to get over to that misfortune. Didn't quite kill her there with that with that uh, spiraling, but got close. Here I'm going to jump over to Olaf and pick up a quick assist um, to kind of help out with that fight we just got into. So get a little bit of an assist there, that's gonna help. Obviously when I am jungling her, I like to take Flash and, uh, not Ignite, but Flash and Smite, because Smite's gonna obviously help you travel through the jungle a bit quicker. Um, I like to usually start off when I'm in my uh, human form, if I'm in the jungle, by throwing in a Spiderling and then using my Q and then switching into my Spider form and using my Frenzy and my Venomous Bite to take out the minions. And uh, there's going to be lots of different ways you can use your abilities on people. The best ways I've found when I am going to be trying to kill someone is uh, I use my E ability in my human form, which is my cocoon, to stun them, and then I try to send a spiderling at them or hit them with my neurotoxin, and then I switch into my spider form, which is going to give me those increased uh, benefits. What it does is I get bonus extra damage when I'm in that form. I get bonus armor and magic resist, and I get 10 uh, more bonus move speed, which is going to be nice. Uh, when you're in your spider form. So when you're running around, you probably want to switch to your spider form to move across the map a little bit quicker. This way, I can actually go up like this and drop down in my repel and jump on her. I did not know Olaf was in that bush, but all I had to do there real quick was to switch into my human form and then throw a spiderling at her because those are faster than she is, and that can speed uh, that up and get that kill for me. Uh, but that is what I'll do usually if you want to gank with her like surprise gank is jump into that bush if it's not warded go into your uh, repel and then you know drop down on top of them it's kind of nice also while you are in your repel don't forget that you are untargetable so if you get kind of caught up in the middle of a team fight and your team is moving in but you need a second to kind of you know retreat or at least get safe you can go up into your repel and then you can you know find yourself to be a little bit safer that way and then drop down on a fight another thing you can do with it is to avoid uh, tons of damage you don't want like maybe a karthus alt so you can go up into that since you're untargetable right before it goes off go up become untargetable and try to avoid that damage um i'm going back to base now i did pick up a ruby crystal one of those times i was back here i am picking up catalyst um, that's going to help me out in a lot of different ways i am building it towards my first item and it's going to help me overall whenever I level up when I'm in the jungle. I will get that bonus massive health regeneration and mana regeneration. It's just going to help me out early game. And we're, we're getting kind of, I don't want to say tanky, but we're building defense. I found with her that she does do some decent damage. I don't think she's really overpowered. Some might say so, but I think she's pretty even. I think she takes a little bit of skill to play. Um, but I like to get some defense first. I'm not too worried about her damage. I'm going to do damage regardless for the most part, especially with my frenzy, especially when I get all of my little spiderlings up. They will deal the extra damage I need to. There I popped up into repel to avoid some of Misfortune's damage and try to drop down onto Olaf. Picked up an assist on him. Going to pick up an assist on the Misfortune. Hoyt's just going crazy this game, getting tons of kills. I'm going to get a lot of assists this game, it seems like. Um, but kind of jumped up to get out of the way of her ultimate. 
Here I can also sit in either my human form and try to hit them with stuns and throw spiders at them, or I can drop back down into my spider form to go a little bit faster with that bonus move speed and get away that way. Um, so you kind of get to decide which way you want to go about. Um, some people I know are more comfortable in her human form and they like to kind of poke a little bit, and her poke is nice in her human form, but then most of the time you'll find yourself needing to drop down into spider form to, uh, you know, not only farm a little bit with your frenzy, but then you can also then jump into fights to get all your bonus damage. But, like I said, when you do do this and you jump into a fight as your spider, you're typically going to take more damage. Here I did repel and I was hoping I could get over to him or he was going to come into that, but he didn't, so I had to drop back down in the same spot. Um, there I was able to stun him, get off a little spiderling to deal some more damage to him. There I can do a little neurotoxin and then jump back into my spider form and do some more damage. Thought I'd pick that kill up, but Cho'Gath uh, decided to nom her, which is fine. Um, picking the kills up any way we can, and uh, I'll take assists. They're never a bad thing. And uh, gonna keep moving in here. I was gonna try to get that sun off, but that stupid minion got in my way. But a little bit of a weird team fighting stuff going on top lane for the most part this game. And their team's already telling us to report Maokai because they say he's trolling, but uh, I ignore people most days because they're all kind of dumb. Um, gonna just move back now away for a second. We might get into another little shuffle in a second, but... Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye out for the most part. Actually, here comes uh, Olaf a little bit and Maokai. I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit him with the, the cocoon, but there's no go there. Uh, I don't think he's gonna get away, so I'm gonna jump in here real quick and try to jump on uh, Olaf. I accidentally repelled there, didn't really need to, but that's gonna happen occasionally. Still learning her kit. Not perfect with her yet, but at least I found the ways that I like to play her, and it seems to go pretty well for me. I'm um, gonna go back to base now, try to buy some more items now that I actually have a little bit more gold. I am going to be doing a couple different things here to help me out as this game goes on. I'm going to finish off my boots. I'm going to go with Merc Treads to get some magic resist and to obviously get my uh, move speed back up a little bit. And that tenacity is going to help. And then I'm going to also pick up a Chain Vest Armor. It's going to help me in the jungle and just um, kind of reduce the incoming damage that I'm going to get. Here, Gangplank was typing because we've been talking back and forth. We're going to caught him there for a second. Maokai is going to move in to try to help out real quick. Um, I'm up in my human form real quick. Uh, Foyt's gonna ult with his Fiora. I'm gonna send that Spiderling in, and that is gonna pick up a kill for me. Those Spiderlings do good damage, and that's why she is a fun AP mid character. This build's not as AP, uh, as some people would expect it to be. This build, oddly enough, kinda goes off on a little bit of a Cho'Gath style of build. It's a little bit odd, it's a little bit different. But she kind of reminds me of him and just his playstyle, because he does have some ranged things that he does with his silence and his knockup. But when he wants to get in there and get dirty, kind of like how she does when she goes into spider foam, he has to run in, use his standard attack with his Vorpal Spikes, and then his Bite. And it's kind of the same way. You use your your Bite, you know, your Venomous Bite, and your spider foam to get in there and on top of him. And then you use your Frenzy, which is similar to, I guess you could call it, um, Cho's Vorpal Spikes. So... It's kind of an interesting way, at least I've thought about it, that she just reminds me of Cho'Gath, and this build reflects kind of a, a tanky AP Cho'Gath build, so just something to think about with the way this build is going. Um, there I did go back once again, I bought some more magic resist, and uh, I still have some AP based off of the runes that I typically go with. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and be in my human form, I'm going to hit him with the cocoon, I'm going to go up for a second, and uh, see that they're over there. I'm going to hold off because my team wasn't quite there for a second. So you can go up into your repel and decide not to use it if you don't want to. I'm going to switch back into my human form real quick so I can try to stun them again with my cocoon and hold them down, which I do on the Maokai. Switch over to my spider phones, jump in and do a bite and going to do plenty of damage there to get the kill. Um, I think Gangplank's trying to bait us out there for a second, but I'm just going to spend a spiderling out over at him and just kind of uh, ignore him for now. But uh, like I said, she does do damage, and she does some percentage damage with her Neurotoxin, so you don't really have to worry about building tons of AP immediately, which is why I'm kind of going for survivability, because I'm going to be able to live uh, in fights this way and deal damage over time this way. It's going to help the team out a little bit more, and uh, that's kind of at least the way I view her build and the style of build that I want to go with her. Now, uh, another reason why I don't feel like I need to worry about going AP immediately is because I do take an AP kind of rune page setup. I go with magic penetration marks, armor seals, AP per level glyphs, and AP quintessences. Um, if you want to go with different quintessences, I think move speed quintessences would also be good. Also, uh, just flat health ones would be good as well, just depending on what you're comfortable with and what you might have. Uh, the move speed ones wouldn't be bad. I think 
her with a lot of mobility is never a horrible thing, especially since she gets a little bit of bonus mobility while she is in her spider form. So just something to consider and think about. Whatever suits you right, um, you can always just modify the build a little bit to suit your needs. Everybody plays a little bit different. Never forget that. So um, just kind of dealing with that. That other time I was back, I did pick up a Glacial Shroud, which is going to help me with having a little bit more mana. Obviously, it's going to give me more armor as well and cooldown reduction, which is never a bad thing on any champion. And uh, we're going to be building that, if you can't tell, into a Frozen Heart. It's going to help me not only stay alive in team fights, but when I switch to Sp Spider Form and I'm in the faces of attack damage champions, it's going to help me fight them a little bit better. And uh, it's just going to be nice for survivability. And it's going to also reduce the enemy team's attack speed. So... Uh, just some nice things to have there. We're just kind of poking back and forth for the most part right now. I like to stay in my human form so I have a little bit more range on my poke so I can use my Neurotoxin. Then I can send in a Spiderling like this to deal some damage. And then I can also uh, switch back if I need to in my into my Repel. Come back in, jump and do a bite there on the uh, enemy Ziggs. Got him killed. Gonna flash out and uh, gonna switch back to Spider form if I need to to just get that little bit increased speed to run away from a fight. Um, sometimes I'll switch in between when I'm running away from a fight to try to switch up and hit them with a stun or send a spiderling back at them to kind of confuse them and uh, just kind of deal with that. I think her kit does take a little bit of time to get used to and I think everybody will find what works for them best and which uh, things they want to do in what order. But for the most part I like to start out in my human form like I said and then use my, you know, cocoon and then maybe a spiderling and then switch and jump in with my bite since you do lunge with your bite, which is your Q when you are in spider form. And then you can go frenzy on them with your bonus attack speed from that. And that's how you can kind of get most of your damage out. And uh, yeah, it's just, it, she just takes some time. I know some people have been struggling with her. I've talked to a few people who just couldn't figure her out. And like I said, um, you can really build her tanky bruiser. You can go hybrid. There's a lot of stuff you can do. So um, like I said, this is kind of a uh, tanky AP build. Um, I still have that Catalyst, and I have a uh, Blasting Wand now. That is going to be building towards my uh, Rod of the Ages. Uh, if you wanted to pick that up a little bit sooner, you could, and um, I'm not too worried about that for the most part. Here, I have their team kind of moving in on me. I didn't go the right way around. I'm trying to get my team to come back over here. I'm going to switch forms real quick, get a Cocoon in there to stun and a Spiderling, and now I'm going to switch back into my Spider, go up to avoid some damage there. Drop back down now because her ultimate is over. Gonna get the bite off and the frenzy going on the Maokai to pick up a kill. Unfortunately, I am gonna die here. I'm ignited and taking some bombs from Ziggs, but that's going to happen. But as you can see, I repelled up to avoid some damage there, which is never a bad thing. And this way now, I can actually be back at base. I did just finish off that Rod of Ages, which is going to be helpful with the more uh, AP over time and the health over time because of it. And I also did pick up another Blasting Wand. We are starting to get more AP now. We are going to start doing more damage. Now, if you were going mid with her and you want kind of a mid build for her, I do think she is fun mid and she does work out there. I would almost go with kind of your generic standard AP build for that. If you don't know what your standard AP build is, it's usually your Rod of Ages, your Death Cap, Abyssal Scepter type stuff, your Magic Pen Boots. And that setup works fine for her and you just got to play mostly, for the most part, I play in her human form, but then I switch to my spider form when I need to get close for the final blow, but I usually get most of my poke off that way. Here they try to jump in, she tried to steal with her ultimate, we were able to finish Baron before that happened, gonna pick up an assist on her and pick up another assist on Maokai. Um, took some decent damage in those fights, but really don't have to worry because of the items I'm building. Uh, it's really, really nice to have some of this defense on her because you don't really have to worry as much. You can kind of get a little bit greedier in certain situations. Here I was gonna come back in, but then I realized my team actually is retreating and they are um, not coming back to help, so I'm going to move through here and just flash to get away real quick. So, uh, just a little bit of that. Now, the next item that I am trying to build towards, I'm going to lose, I think, mid-tower. It didn't have much health. The next item I am building towards, now that I have that magic resist and I do have that blasting wand, that next item I am building towards is going to be the abyssal scepter. That's going to give me the more uh, damage. It's going to help me with that magic resist, and it's going to help me with their uh, me reducing their... Uh, their uh, resist as well on that. So that's going to be another really good item to pick up for me immediately. I mean, I got 218 AP, 133 attack damage, nothing too bad there. Um, and just, you know, a little bit of that. Now, another method that you could build Elise, I think she's kind of fun to play as, oddly enough, you can kind of go hybrid and it's kind of similar to a, a Jax build. And uh, it's really fun. I do enjoy it. I'm not sure it's as viable unless you have a really good early start. 
but uh, it's not quite as I want to. I don't want to use the word tanky, but as tanky as this build. But it does work, and I do think it is really fun. I usually go with a gunblade pretty quick and uh, get a sheen. You gotta do lich bane or triforce depending on which side of hybrid you want to lean towards. And I do think hybrid her is also a fun way to do her in the jungle. So there's kind of hybrid or Cho'Gathy style of build for her in the jungle. And then yeah, again, if you're going mid, it's kind of your standard AP build seems to work out quite well for her. But I thought I'd show this build because it's a little bit different than I've seen from some other people. And I like the way it works out. There I did finish off that Frozen Heart. It's going to definitely help me stay alive. I'm still dealing plenty of damage. The next two items that I will typically build with her now at a later game is I will be picking up a Death Cap now, which will drastically increase my ratios and let me deal with even more damage. I do have that survivability I wanted, and I do have it, which is just, I mean, I'm, I'm able to stay alive a lot longer than if I didn't have it. And then if you wanted to finish the game out, there's a couple different items I like to go for. You can either pick up more health and a slow by getting a uh, Rylai's Crystal Scepter, which does work really well. Or you can go with more kind of penetration if you want. You can go with a Void Staff. Or if you need a little bit more armor because you're up in their face in your spider form, you can go with the Zonia's Hourglass. So a couple different ways to go there at the end of the game. Those are the last three items I'd recommend that fill out this build quite nice. Because right now we got 209 armor and a hundred and I think 37 magic resist really good stuff now um, as for those masteries that I go if I'm in the jungle with her I go with a 9 12 9 setup 9 gives me the cooldowns and magic pen 12 in the defense gives me health per level and uh, decreased uh, damage from minions and then 9 in the uh, kind of the utility tree to help me with move speed and buff duration when I'm in the jungle. Now, like I said, if you're going AP caster mid with that kind of standard setup for most people, you can go with a 2109. It's going to be your generic page that kind of, you know, standard APs take. Picking up lots of assists this game, especially with Cho'Gath eating people and Hoyt doing really well. But uh, did pretty good, got lots of assists and uh, supported where I could, did what I could with her. I do like her as a champion. I don't think I'll see too many changes to her coming up. We'll see. Uh, her spiderlings do decent damage, but for the most part, I'm guessing she'll stay the same for a little while. But that's pretty much going to be a build video for her. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below. Um, but other than that, guys, I'll just see all of you in the next build video.